Uh, the man many are tipping to be the next president of the United States has got himself into a bit of a jam over a bit of a jam. Chris Christie, the Republican governor of New Jersey, has sacked his deputy chief of staff after emails showed she conspired to create traffic gridlock, allegedly to punish a political opponent. Inigo Gilmore has this. He's the man widely seen as the great hope of the Republican Party. New Jersey's governor, Chris Christie, has been hailed as a pragmatic, bipartisan everyman who's shown the way for Republicans to reach across America's fractured political divide. So, we just met some Democrats here who want you to run for the White House, they say. Well, isn't that nice of them? When we caught up with him recently on the campaign trail, he was on a high, clearly buzzing, just days before he was re-elected as governor, with large support from New Jersey's Democrats. I, and I come out here today to apologize to the people of New Jersey. It was a somber and chastised Christie who appeared at a press conference today as a political scandal has forced him to sack one of his senior aides for what appears to be the ultimate act of political retribution. I am embarrassed and humiliated by the conduct of some of the people on my team. It's being called Bridgegate the George Washington Bridge, the busiest in the world, was snarled up with traffic last September, now revealed as a result of fake roadworks. The mayor of the town most affected, Fort Lee, on one side of the bridge is a Democrat who had refused to endorse Christie's re-election campaign. He says this was an act of political vengeance. Who would close down lanes to the busiest bridge in the world to get to me? So I'm thinking, how could this possibly be? How could it possibly be? But now reading the emails and the text that we see today, it certainly is the case. The emails were written from the personal email account of Christie's deputy chief of staff, Bridget Ann Kelly, to David Wildstein of the Port Authority, which controls the George Washington Bridge. Kelly's email read, time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee, to which Wildstein replied, got it. In another exchange between Wildstein and an unknown associate, they joked about the traffic snarl-ups affecting local school children. One message read, is it wrong that I'm smiling? Wildstein's response, no. This conspiracy to create chaos is something straight out of The Sopranos, the story of the New Jersey mob boss who wreaks vengeance on his enemies. Christie has been accused of fitting in with his New Jersey image, bullying, brash and aggressive. Christie himself has denied any knowledge of this plot, but the behaviour of his aides has raised concerns about the culture of his leadership at a time when a presidential bid appears almost inevitable.